Three weeks from today, Columbus City School students will be back in the classroom, and we are taking a closer look at some of the safety measures that we know will be in place at that time. NBC4's Dan Perlman is joining us live now with what parents need to know before that first day of school. Right, Dan? Absolutely, Colleen. You know, when the school year begins, security staff, I'm told, will be visible in the hallways and around uh, the district's high schools and at middle schools like this one right over here, the Arts Impact Middle School. Chris Ward told me about this in the Operations Center, where staff monitors more than 6,000 cameras throughout all Columbus City Schools buildings. The district's director of safety and security says there will be an additional 20 members on his team this year, bringing the total to 104. This addition comes a little more than a year after the contract between the district and Columbus Police expired that put school resource officers in high schools. Ward says the extra staff is not to make up for those officers not being there. In fact, he told me the plan to bring them on board was made in 2018. He adds police still have a role in keeping the district schools safe. If there are situations where um, it involves um, law enforcement or the assistance of law enforcement. Um, our school staff, our school security officers, our building administrators will reach out to law enforcement and let them know um, that we need their assistance. A spokesperson for Columbus City Schools wrote us in part, we have a strong partnership with CPD, but the use of school-based officers in our buildings is still under discussion. A spokesperson for Columbus Police says he does anticipate conversations about this between the department and the school board. Local for you in Columbus, Dan Perlman, NBC4. Dan, thanks. As schools head back to